Here's a quick update on the Podocarpus macrophyllus, sometimes called the U plum pine, sometimes called the Buddhist pine. I got this from WilsonBrothersGardens.com, and it's marginal in Tennessee in terms of frost survivability. You can see last year's needles or leaves still kind of look bad at the surface, although the underside is a nice green and it's put on a lot of new growth this year on all the branches although it does seem to be affected by some kind of needle blight or wilt there's one branch killed if I go higher you can see there's some damage on those leaves even at the very top damage there so we'll wait and see if it has major problems with the fungus around here. And it already has a little bit of problem with the cold, at least last year it did. I'm hoping this year the extreme heat will harden the foliage and make it more resilient during the winter time. But this could be another tree just like the um, California coast redwood that is not hardy enough to survive here. We'll see. Let's check another tree real quick. Okay, here is my Thuyopsis dolabrata, otherwise known as a Heba cedar or Elkhorn cedar. And uh, this tree is known for being extremely slow growing, and it looks like it's put on a little bit of vertical growth. So that's like one inch of growth this year, which if you've seen my other tree videos is basically nothing compared to the superstar species around here. And now, in addition to this unusual yellowing on the foliage, we've got browning and appears to be some type of fungal death. So that's also not encouraging. I think when I first planted this, I made a comment that this was essentially a um, tree that behaves like uh, Thuya green giant or Thuyas. But it's nothing like them. Uh, this Thuyopsis dolabrata is far inferior to any Thuya species that I've seen. And if you're thinking about getting it just for genetic diversity, it, it looks good when you first get it, but it's not ideally suited for Tennessee in my opinion. This is a tree that struggles. And extremely slow growing. So, uh, I don't know, I may move this one to another location and plant something that can grow faster here. I purchased from keepingitgreennursery.com if you want one. And of course that's a really great nursery and it arrived in fantastic condition. Still got interesting foliage on the underside. But the top looks pretty scorched and maybe it's because of the high heat and drought we had this summer that was exceptional. But um, let's look at the other one real quick. I'll show you. I have two. Here's the other Thuyopsis. It's slightly greener. It gets a little bit more afternoon shade, but it also hasn't grown even one millimeter this summer. So uh, once again, it's obviously the species. It's not the growing conditions because trees right next to it have put on two feet of growth. So this species is just not a star performer, in my opinion.